The first thing that you do is that you open the mouth of the baby with your right hand and then you put the blade starting on the right side of the mouth into the baby's mouth like that and then sweep up under the tongue and start pushing the blade up towards the ceiling like that. And let's see this from the side. So I'm using my right hand to open the baby's mouth. I put the blade in on the right side and then I sweep under the tongue and upwards like that. And once you have the blade inside the baby's mouth, you don't want the blade kind of completely flat with the bed. So this is like at zero degrees. You also don't want it at 90 degrees, which is kind of more like this. Really, you want it somewhere around 60 degrees with the bed. So say this is 30 and then further up and 60. So you're really at quite an angle from the bed here. So at this point, you're really kind of trying to advance the blade until you can see the vellecula or at least the epiglottis. Sometimes you go in too far and you have to kind of pull back a bit to see the epiglottis kind of drop into view. Often, especially if the vocal cords are really anterior, you have to pull up on the entire blade towards the ceiling. Do not rock. So don't kind of go backwards and forwards like this. Really, it's a motion where the whole blade is being lifted up towards the ceiling like that. Then once you identify the vocal cords, put the endotracheal tube in from the right side of the mouth and thread it down until you can see it pass through the vocal cords. Don't put it down the middle of the blade because then that will actually block your view of the vocal cords. So put it down from the side of the mouth and thread it through like this. 